Okay, guys, I think we have sound now. I apologize for the first couple minutes not having sound. But I think we are good now. So, what you missed if from the sound uh, you saw, we have now an 11-3 game going on. As McDonald added two to that, apologies for that. So, make changes to the scoreboard. But now we have substitution being made. Peyton Zupko checks in, and they get it on, rolling it around, don't want to commit the travel, but a kick ball instead. So, four minutes to go in the first. Luckily, we made, that was noticed soon. Thank you to our tech department for checking in on us. We were able to figure out what that problem was. I was unaware, apologies. But, three off the mark. So, Mineral Ridge hit their first three of the game to start and then they've been cold since. And we see a three off the mark by Michael Porter. He wanted another one. And both teams cooling down in the scoring column right now. And for that one, nice play by Ian Herb. Get in, drive home just a little bit, and get the two. Tough shot in traffic, and Wolford kicking it on the baseline, trying to get to Porter, and that's off the hands of Michael Porter out of bounds. And this crowd is loud. These fans are into it both sides. Both Mineral Ridge and McDonald have a packed house, packed side. James, giving it on, three. That one's off the mark by Peyton Zupko. Top of the key, Wolford. Wolford to Matthew Porter. They kick it out, that's a three off the mark by Nolan Agler. And right in the rebound transition game, Zach James tries to get there. He's gonna be fouled on his shot. So, fighting through contact, he'll go to the line to shoot two. So, First, that's number one. Zero, Wolford, his first, team second. James misses the first. Makes the second. So. 11-6 now, the score is only a five point deficit for Mineral Ridge. And Zupko picks up a foul of his own. And a steal. Nice play by Elias Clark. So now falls back in the hands of Clark. They get it in low. Oh, that was travel committed by number one, Zupko. So he was thinking about putting up a three, decided to try to get to his left. Zupko with a nice steal, and now he's off to the races, and he gets a, no, two won't fall. Now they try to get it, blocked away, but Wolford resets the backcourt, and they're just gonna push it across. They gotta get across, they do. So no alarm for them as Wolford takes it. 
trying to pass it around the perimeter into the hands of Costanito. Costanito drives baseline, can't get it back into the hands of Agler. On to Wolford, Wolford looking to drive, nothing. Guarded well by Zupko. And that one's out of bounds. Turnover, great pressure there by the Rams as it goes off the hands of Matthew Porter. Giving it off to James. James gonna take it up to half court. James on to Elias Clark and they're calling a offensive foul. On uh, number 22, Tristan Valley, his first, team first. Into Wolford, back out in the hands of Costanito. Costanito puts up a three, no good. That is number four, Trey Wrigley, putting it on the floor, giving it off to Zupko. Zupko looking to make something work. Zupko, 30 seconds into the left in the first. Tristan Valley puts up a nice two from the post. Can't get it to go. Nice little post spin there, but nothing. And now we have Warford going to work on Zupko. Zupko with a steal, fighting for it. Gets it off to Wrigley. Wrigley's off to the races, shot blocked. But Zupko stays with it, gets the two. Six seconds to go. Wolford trying to get all the way down the court, instead passes it off to Porter. Porter needing to put up a shot. Oh, and it's stolen by Zupko, and he's gonna hold it for the end of the first. And wow, and what a momentum swing we have now as the crowd is fired up, the team is fired up. Mineral Ridge right back into this game, only down three. Excuse me, three to end the quarter. So, we take a quick commercial break. When we get back, second quarter action here on YSN. 21 News. Valley reaction. Why the police Needs chief. To expand Reporters you trust. Mahoning and Trumbull County. Willington Restaurant. Recovering from a Telling broken Telling more home. local stories. A community in Niles. Here in Youngstown. Right around our valley. One should Here at the University of Dayton. Set. Because you expect. A storybook ending for the Kennedy. This evening. That will push away as we go through. More local news. In Mercer County. Before they become life threatening. 21 News. Locally owned. Locally connected. WRS Wealth Advisors, the area's premier wealth and retirement specialists. Located on South Avenue in Boardman. Coca's Pizza, always supporting our community and our local athletes. Stop in on game day or score big and have it delivered right to your door. Check out our daily specials at cocaspizza.com. That's Coca's Pizza, we serve it hot. And here we are, we're back. And it is loud in here tonight. And that's Porter trying to do it all, and he does. Gets home for the two. Number 13, Michael Porter. That three is off the mark. Shot off the mark, rebounded by Zupko. Zupko off to the races. No, instead gives it back. Nice shot by number 13. Excuse me, number 15, Ian Erb with the three. So now it's 11-13, only a two point game. And that one's off to Shane Stoops. Stoops thinks about getting the three, won't put it up, passes it around. 
into the hands of Nolan Agler. Back to Costanito. Costanito loving the drive baseline. He's fouled on the floor by Tristan Valley, who was faked out, thought he was gonna go for the shot. Tristan Valley heads to the bench with his second foul. Actually, no, Tristan Valley stays on the court. That's number 10, Elias Clark heading to the bench for just a moment. And that two is good by Michael Porter. So Zupko into the hands of Ian Erb. A three, and that one is good by number three, Julian Razi, bringing this game to within one. Into the, oh, great help by Zupko, and that shuts off the mark by number 12, Matthew Porter. That's blocked, out of bounds. Costanito going to get the inbound. Give it in to Matthew. And what do we have? We have a foul on number four on the floor. Trey Wrigley, his first, team fifth. Six minutes to go, so Rams need to watch their fouling or they're gonna be playing from the, they're gonna have to you give McDonald the bonus, excuse me. As Costanito drives baseline, shot off the mark. So, chance to take oh, chance to take the lead. Their first lead of the night it would be is McDonald. Or Mineral Ridge, excuse me. Oh, but that one's stolen away. Bad pass, and now we have Porter on the drive, hands it off to Costanito. Costanito taking it around the top of the key. Gets right in the lane, can't get that one to go. Rebounded into the hands of Zupko. See what he does. Gets a down low to number 32, Nathan Roram. Zupko puts up a two, can't get it to fall, out of bounds, off the hands of Julian Rossi. Substitution, Rossi checks out, Zach James back in. Also, we have, now I don't think Shane Stoops was checking in, I think he just, no one was down the court, so he went to get the inbound. Costanito, Stoops thinking about it, doesn't put it up, instead. Dribbling around, Porter can't get that one to fall into the hands of Nathan Roram. Shot rejected, and looking for someone to fling it to. He can't find it. It's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Looked like the ref thought was trying to make a move up the court and missed it. There are only, no, there's three refs. Thought for a second we only had a two crew night. I was. Confused. Porter putting up a three, can't get that one to go. Nice rebound by Zupko, and Zupko looking, passes it off. Zach James underneath the basket, gets that two to drop, and Mineral Ridge has their first lead of the night. I actually scratched that, they did take off in a early 3-0 lead off the first shot, but since then, they've been behind, and now they have the lead again. So we have Porter guarded well, off to Costanito, Costanito working it, trying to get to the lane, can't get it, now in the hands of Wolford, who hasn't seen any action in a minute. Been the Porters right now, Matthew and Michael running most of the show tonight. But Wolford's got his touches, so has Agler. 
and so has Costanito. They've got, but corner fouled on that one by Zubko, and that's no, oh, that's a bad call. That's a tough call. That was all ball. That's his second foul, team six. I thought that was a clean block, but Matthew Porter goes to the line to shoot two. Makes the first. Back to tie game. So Zupko with two fouls is gonna have to just check out momentarily. And on comes number 10, Elias Clark. And Porter makes both of those. Zach James into the game. Or taking the ball up the court. Off to Roram down low. Back to James. James hop step into the paint. Can't get it to fall. <coughs> Shot deflected out of bounds off the hands. Now they're calling a foul. So foul when James goes to shoot. Foul on number 15, Nolan Agler, his first team third. Zach James shooting two at the line. And he makes the first. And he makes them both, so lead for Mineral Ridge now. Costanito drives, puts up a two, can't get that one to fall. Rebounded by Herb. Now to Zach James. James taking it all the way up the court, can't get it to fall. Costanito makes that three. So now a two point lead for McDonald. Oh, and a beautiful steal by Porter. <coughs> Costanito. Whoa. And a stuff by number four, Trey Wrigley, and he picks up a foul, strong contact on that block. So that sends Costanito to the line to shoot two. Two minutes and 18 seconds in the second. Or left, left to go, makes the first. No, misses the first, excuse me. This is the second, Orum rebounds. Herb, they kick it out. Oh, a three off the mark by Wrigley. Subco checks back in the game. He's on the transition defense and they halt that run. Now into the hands of number 22, Zach Schobel. Offensive foul on number 15, Nolan Agler, his second. So now, timeout, Mineral Ridge. Full timeout, we'll be back in just a minute. You're looking to your future, preparing for your goals, and they're closer than you think. Because here, success is part of the plan. It's a place where academic and social opportunities are meant to prepare you for life, not just the next four years. You'll be equipped to face new challenges and turn hard work into a career. You're ready for your success to take root. And here's where it starts. We are Youngstown State University and proud. When looking for home design inspiration, don't just be inspired, be Baird inspired. Whether new or remodeling, Baird Brothers has the latest trends like shiplap to refresh your home. 
Go from inspiration to installation with our wide selection of in-stock American hardwoods. From the rustic charm of antique oak to the warmth of traditional cherry, Baird Brothers has what you need to make your home inspiring. Baird Brothers, our families. And we're back. Minute 50 to go. Number 15, Herb, gives it down low to Zupko. Zupko can't get that one to fall, fighting for it under the basket in the hands of Wolford. Costanito can't get that one to fall. Out of bounds. Last touched by Mineral Ridge. Could be McDonald's ball. Into number 12. On the paint, can't get that one away. Ripped away by Zepko. Minute to go. A three by number 10. Elias Clark drains it. And just like that, the Rams are back on top. Wyatt Wolford. Shot no good off the mark. Out of bounds, Rams ball. Getting it into Zupko, breaking that little press. Getting it, oh, stolen away by Wolford. To Costanito, to Porter, Porter blocked. Shot by Zupko. And he gets the two. Now Porter working it. Gives it to Costanito for a three. Can't get, oh, the ball gets stuck. This has been a great back and forth game so far in the nine seconds to go in the second half. See if Mineral Ridge can extend their lead. And Zupko wants to take it himself, he does. Warham gets a second chance, a third chance, and then that's how the clock expires. <laughs> so, after two quarters of action, it's a 23-20 game in favor of the Rams. Don't go anywhere though, because after an exciting back and forth matchup, you're definitely gonna wanna come back and watch the second half. But, while we're gone, go on YSN.com and check out all the other live games going on around the valley or look out for other scores and highlights. We'll be back in about 10, ten minutes. We're gonna run a quick halftime ad roll, but come back or don't go anywhere. Act if you want to stick around, because we'll be back for third quarter, second half action here on YSM. 21 News. Valley reacts why the police chief expand before reporters we... you trust. Mahoning and Trumbull. Wellington restaurant. Recovering from a Telling more out. local stories. A community in Niles here, here in Youngstown, right around our valley. Once you're you're at the University of Dayton set. Because about. you expect. A storybook ending for the Kennedy. Well, this evening that will push away as we go through. More local news. In Mercer County. Before they become life threatening. 21 News. Locally owned. Locally connected. Welcome home to a home made homier with Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. Inspiration starts at BairdBrothers.com and is turned into reality when high quality hardwoods are delivered right to your home. Baird Brothers has the latest design trends, shiplap and skinny lap interior siding, antique oak rustic flooring, and, well, you'll find them all at BairdBrothers.com. Ordered easily, delivered conveniently, enjoyed comfortably. BairdBrothers.com. At Greenwood Chevrolet, shop with confidence knowing we're ready to go the extra mile for you. With the largest selection of used vehicles in the valley, backed by the Greenwood Advantage Warranty. Every one of our vehicles has undergone our own 126-point inspection, so it passes the most important inspection, yours. No other dealership has the extra inventory, gives you extra for your trade, and goes the extra mile for you. 
only at Greenwood Chevrolet. Quality, customer service, and integrity. Those are the four words that have driven our success since 1957 at Joe Dickey Electric. Joe Dickey Electric is one Mahoning Valley landmark business that stays current with the requirements of our customers. Family owned and managed, we are an electrical contractor and energy solutions provider. Every member of our team adds to his or her skill set through ongoing training. Residential, commercial, industrial, automotive, and more. We keep ahead of the needs of our customers with a fleet of more than 50 vehicles and 24-7 emergency service, so you're never left in the dark. WRS Wealth Advisors, the area's premier wealth and retirement specialists. Located on South Avenue in Boardman. For a great vehicle and a great experience, come to Boardman Mitsubishi today. As always, our full lineup of Mitsubishi models comes with a standard 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. Boardman Mitsubishi, your hometown Mitsubishi dealer since 1999. You're not waiting to see what the world has in store for you. It's more about what you have in store for the world. All you need is the opportunity. All you need are the resources of a large university and the advantages of a personalized academic setting where you can experience new worlds in the arts and sciences, business and education and make them your own. We are where you shape your future. We are Youngstown State University and proud. Coca's Pizza, always supporting our community and our local athletes. Stop in on game day or score big and have it delivered right to your door. Check out our daily specials at cocospizza.com. That's Coca's Pizza, we serve it hot. Every customer has a story, and at Greenwood Chevrolet, we are committed to making sure it ends with you in the right vehicle. I get to be part of somebody's adventure, whether it's buying a car for the first time, helping them get approved, or finding the perfect car for their budget. I'm proud that people trust me with their finances. They trust me to take care of them, and they trust me with their story. I'm Tracy, and I'm ready to go the extra mile for you only at Greenwood Chevrolet. Working with your family can be stressful at times, but because they're family, you know that you're gonna get a loving, honest answer, even when things don't make sense to any problem. Dealing with Medicare can be confusing and overwhelming. That's why here at Myers Family Insurance, we do our best to give you honest and caring answers to all of your questions. Family, like Medicare, isn't always perfect, but when you put others first, the results can be amazing. For all your Medicare needs, call Myers Family Insurance. High res Future Cash shows steady snow for the next few hours. Still just downright cold. It is bitter out there. Several strong bands of lake effect snow. When is kind of a big story today as well. So if you need a more detailed winter forecast on WFMJ.com and the Storm Tracker 21 app. As fine as the eye can see. The finest hardwoods from the finest trees. Made for your home and within your means, Baird Brothers will help fulfill your dreams. Let life and light come shining through in quiet morns. And heavy traffic, too. Find your easy-to-afford fine hardwood floors and doors and more at BairdBrothers.com. This is Tommy Clem, owner of WRS Insurance Solutions. WRS Insurance Solutions is a local, independent agency that specializes in life, Medicare, long-term care, and disability products. Call us at 330-953-3722 or visit us at wrsinsurancesolutions.com to learn more. Good luck to all the student-athletes in the Valley. 
It's a new year at Acura of Boardman and Boardman Mitsubishi with huge savings on over 350 fully inspected vehicles. We have cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, and work vehicles. We don't have it, our team will find it. We aim for 100% credit approval with payments as low as $99 per month. And as always, we'll pay top dollar for your trade. For a great vehicle and a great experience, come see why everyone is stopping by at Acura Boardman and Boardman Mitsubishi. Coca's Pizza, proud to announce our pizza buffet's back every Wednesday at our Boardman and Campfield locations. Adults only $7.99 and kids only $4.99. And $2 beer starting at 8 o'clock. That's Coca's Pizza. We serve it hot. My guy keeps it 100. 100% of the time. He wants all 100. Won't settle for 99. And it's more than stats. Because there's people in those numbers. And I was one of the lost sheep. I'm so glad he cares for all 100. I'm 100% safe. 100% free. 100% love. I could be 100% me. He gave all 100 when they put him up on that tree. That's 100% passion for 100% free. So if I play in front of 100, or if I play in front of two, there's an audience of one getting 100% of what I can do. At Greenwood Chevrolet, shop with confidence knowing we're ready to go the extra mile for you. With the largest selection of used vehicles in the valley, backed by the Greenwood Advantage Warranty. Only at Greenwood Chevrolet. WRS Wealth Advisors is the area's premier wealth and retirement specialist. With our combined 70 years experience, WRS Wealth Advisors is the area's premier wealth and retirement specialist. Call 330-965-0370 to learn more about our individual and corporate financial planning services or visit wrswealth.com. Good luck, athletes. Jimmy Sudman here, director of Isle Purple Cat and Golden String. We are happy to support YSN and two of my favorite people, Scotty Mincher and Super Dave O'Malley. We are an agency that provides services for adults with disabilities. We infuse humor, passion, and joy into their lives. If you know of any folks with disabilities that need our assistance, please contact us. You're looking to your future, preparing for your goals, and they're closer than you think. Because here, success is part of the plan. It's a place where academic and social opportunities are meant to prepare you for life, not just the next four years you'll be equipped to face new challenges and turn hard work into a career. You're ready for your success to take root. And here's where it starts. We are Youngstown State University. It's just the biggest thing. But welcome back. Second half, third quarter action on your way. 23-20 game. We have a great one brewing. As it's been back and forth this whole game. And uh, looks like the band's exiting, so be patient. I'll try to describe what's going on. We have Ian Ward out to Ian Herb, excuse me, out to Trey Wrigley, who drains a three. <coughs> so the first half starts exactly like the second half started for Mineral Ridge, which is a th knockdown three. And a turnover. And the momentum feels with like feels with the Rams at this point. Number four, Trey Wrigley tries to put up the three, can't get that one to fall. Rebounded on to Wolford. Wolford. Porter to Costanito, Costanito dribbling, looking to attack, holds back. Wolford loses his footing a bit. Off to Porter, off to Nolan Agler. 
Costanito on to Porter. Can't get that one to fall. Porter again. And that one is another turnover in favor of Mineral Ridge. So McDonald off to a shaky start in the second half. Shot off the mark, rebounded into the hands of Porter. So Michael Porter now off to Matthew to Costanito. Gets his three, can't fall. Zach James with the rebound. So James on to Wrigley. And a nice shot by Agler. Not Agler, excuse me. Ian Erb. Wrong roster. So eight point lead, now their largest of the night. Nice two. Matthew Porter drives it in. Zach James can't get that one to fall. But Nathan Roram, Roman gets that one to go. Eight point lead. Shot won't go. Porter gets that one. Gets that one to go as well. So, 24 point game, 20, 30 to 24, six point game. On to Zupko. Zupko working it. Trying to go baseline, attacks. Gets into the lane, picks up the two. Picks up the foul, going to shoot two. Wolford second, team first. So Zupko goes to the line to shoot two for the Rams. Shot won't fall. And that one, good. Zupko gets one of two at the line. So now it's a seven point lead again. Porter to Costanito, Zupko with a steal. Doesn't look the pass, takes himself, no, kicks it out. Number three, Rozzi off the mark, some fighting for the ball. It's gonna be off the hands of Wolford as he goes down. He's okay, getting back up on that play, a little shaken up. Shane Stoops checks in for him. Make sure he's okay. To Zupko. Warham knocks down a three of his own. 
And like that, it's a 10 point lead for the Rams. And that shot, no good off the mark. In the hands of Porter, gets a three of his own. So, seven point game, we're back to. As the teams trade threes there. Zupko. To Herb. To Roram. To Zupko again. Timeout, Mineral Ridge will be back. 30 seconds, we'll be back. Quality, customer service, and integrity. Those are the four words that have driven our success since 1957 at Joe Dickey Electric. Joe Dickey Electric is one Mahoning Valley landmark business that stays current with the requirements of our customers. Family owned and managed, we are an electrical contractor and energy solutions provider. Every member of our team adds to his or her skill set through ongoing training. Residential, commercial, industrial, automotive, and more. We keep ahead of the needs of our customers with a fleet of more than 50 vehicles and 24-7 emergency service, so you're never left in the dark. And we are back. Three minutes to go in the third. Rams ball, they're taken out from the sideline on the far side. Three, off the mark by Erb, rebounded by Porter. Porter to Costanito. Porter. And a two by Matthew Porter. What a game these two Porters have been having, the Porter brothers. Oh, and a block by Nolan Agler. Stoops trying to make something happen. Can't kicks it off to Agler, to Porter. He looks mechanical out there with the way he did that pump fake. Agler to Stoops. Stoops fakes it, goes baseline, steps on the line, out of bounds. No, blocking foul. Foul on Ian Herb. His first team third. Ian and Roram check out for the moment. Get it into Porter off the mark. Rebounded by Zachary James. James. Zach James, excuse me. Grazi gets contact on the drive. Gonna line to shoot two. A minute 32 to go in the third. So, 29-34, five point lead for the Rams. On comes Zupko in the hands of Elias Clark to Tristan Valley to Ro Julian Rossi. Rossi trying to make it, guarded well by Stoops. James, thinking about putting up a three, doesn't give it right back to Clark. Now James gets to a lane, drives, finds some room, gets a two underneath the basket. Nice play right there by him, creating a shot.
Good work. Shot by Porter. Three pointer is good. Drains it. And he's going to go to the line to try to complete a four point play. So, Donald having a chance to get within three if he can pick up his free throw here. does, so it's the three-point game. Try to get into Valley. Valley loses it for a sec. Oh, throws it away. Shane Stoops. He was late getting his hands on that ball, and he was able to be guarded well as Agler came in to help. Now on to Costanito. Valley almost with a steal. Costanito freezes him, takes a shot off the mark. Wow. No. Foul on the floor. The ref says basket will not count. Foul on number three, his second, team fifth. Foul on the floor. Costanito can't get that one to fall. And a bit of an air ball. 9.9 to go on the clock. To get this final shot of the quarter off for the Rams. James almost losing it. No, excuse me, Elias Clark almost losing it. Now they give it to James, who's fouled. And that's a smart foul right there because now they only have 3.4 seconds left. And they only had two fouls, so not a bad foul at all. That's only going to be their third team foul and his first. I don't think that was intentional, but... Now Zupko's going to have a tough shot, having to just air one up. Can't get it to fall. So the Rams will take a three-point lead into the fourth when we come back, 36-33 to game here from Mineral Ridge. Your teams work hard and give it all they've got. Well, so does ours, because 21 Sports and YSN give you extra effort when covering local sports. 21 Sports and YSN, winning coverage of our Valley's teams. Planning a project around your home or rental property? Trust the electrical service to the local experts with 62 years of serving the Mahoning Valley. Joe Dickey Electric is your local go-to source for responsive, reliable residential electrical work. From everyday maintenance and repairs to new installations, electrical upgrades, and safety inspections, no job is too big or too small. Call Joe Dickey Electric today, 800-549-3976, or visit DickeyElectric.com. That's DickeyElectric.com. Dealing with Medicare can be confusing and overwhelming. That's why here at Myers Family Insurance, we do our best to give you honest and caring answers to all of your questions. Family, like Medicare, isn't always perfect, but when you put others first, the results can be amazing. For a great vehicle and a great experience, come to Boardman Mitsubishi today. As always, our full lineup of Mitsubishi models comes with a standard 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. Boardman Mitsubishi, your hometown Mitsubishi dealer since 1999. And we are back. Wolford guarded well. And that one's good, nice two. Did that one off? No, that one didn't fall. So shooting two. 
misses the first, and they're gonna need to get better at the free throw line to keep to get back into this game. Down three, they want to take retake this lead. They could do it from the free throw line, but that doesn't help their case at all, especially being close to getting in the bonus. Costanito. Looks like Wrigley heads to the scorer's table to check back in. And foul on number 10. And now we're in the bonus, so Costanito goes to the line to shoot two. Out checks Julian Rossi. That foul is on number 10, Elias Clark, his second, team seventh. Zach James gets that rebound. Zupko getting to the lane. Can't. So, foul on the floor, they say. Foul on number 12, Matthew Porter. His second, team fourth. They still have a couple fouls to give here. Tristan Valley with a nice low post move. And he gets a two. Trying to get a little bit of separation here on the scoreboard. The Rams are up, up five. And a foul by Zupko. No. Foul on Zupko, his fourth. So, 6.46 to go. He's gonna have to sit the bench for a minute because they're gonna need him out there. And they're gonna need him not to wait that last foul. And that one's no good. So another wasted opportunity there for McDonald at the line. Not able to convert the last four free throws in a row. James out to Ian Herb. Herb can't get that one to go. A loose ball foul. Oh no, they're gonna call that a defensive foul. They're gonna say he had possession. So Tristan Valley picks up his third, and now we have my Nolan Agler going to the line to shoot one and one. And now you have it's only been about 30 seconds, and they're going to go from bonus to double bonus in the next foul. So Mineral Ridge really committing quite a few fouls, but again, five fouls in a row now that McDonald's not able to to make. Yeah, I mean, that's the difference between this game being tied or them down five. Both teams in a bit of a scoring drought. Costanito seeing if he can change fortunes here. Kicks it out to Porter. Back to Costanito to Nolan Agler. He travels. He touched the ground. And Zupko checks back in. And he's going to be a nice side of sigh of relief for the Rams as they desperately need a bucket and they can look for him to get one. They're gonna get it in. The Zupko, there he gets it. He's off to the races. He's gonna get right to the lane, gets home, can't get it to go, and he knows he can't foul. He cannot commit another foul, he can't afford to. And three by... Out of bounds, off the... Body of Matthew Porter. Double dribble.
Now Costanito to Wolford. Nolan Agler. Costanito drives, gets to the low post, can't get that shot to go. Saved by Trey Wrigley. And now Zupko going, getting that two, can't get it to fall. He can't foul. Porter gets to the line. Offensive charge on Michael Porter. So, Rams ball. And James checks in for Elias Clark. Five minutes to go. And the Rams unable to get a bucket. They've done good defensively though. Both teams unable to provide a bucket, but Mineral Ridge wanting to talk it over. We'll be back after this timeout. My guy keeps it 100, 100% 100 of the time. He wants all 100, won't settle for 99. And it's more than stats because there's people in those numbers. And I was one of the lost sheep. I'm so glad he cares for all 100. I'm 100% safe, 100% free, 100% love. I can be 100% me. He gave all 100 when they put him up on that tree. That's 100% passion for 100% free. So if I play in front of 100, or if I play in front of two, there's an audience of one getting 100% of what I can do. And we're back, Rams ball. So Zupko charging down the lane. Can't get that one to fall either. And the scoring drought continues and Wilford almost loses it on the Porter. Costanito. Porter can't get that one to fall. Tristan Valley. Wolford. Shot off the mark, Zupko gets it. Zupko resetting the offense, four minutes to go. Trying to kill some time, and he gets to the line, and he'll go shoot two. Can't get it to fall. So chance to score from the free throw line now for the Rams. 3.57 to go. First shot goes. And second shot off the mark. Foul committed. Porter shot off the mark. Shot 
Shot good. So five point game again as they both uh, match each other from one of, one, one of two at the free throw line, but instead, Trey Wrigley. Gets there, gets two. So now it's a 41-34 seven point game. Costa Nito trying to make something happen. And a travel is committed. Zupko. Giving it to Wrigley. Wrigley can't get that one to fall. Swats it out of his hand, tries to steal. But Agler too quick. Porter gets it now. Stolen away by Elias Clark. Clark on the drive. Clark gets there, can't get it to fall. Tristan Valley, no. In a three by number 13, Michael Porter. So that, it's a three, four point game. We'll be back after a 30 second timeout. Jimmy Sudman here, director of Isle, Purple Cat, and Golden String. We are happy to support YSN and two of my favorite people, Scotty Mincher and Super Dave O'Malley. We are an agency that provides services for adults with disabilities. We infuse humor, passion, and joy into their lives. If you know of any folks with disabilities that need our assistance, please contact us. And we are back. Rams ball, out of bounds. Four point game now. McDonald hanging in, trying to retake the lead. The Rams took it back, had the first score of the game, and then lost the lead. And then, now Tristan Valley gets a two, up six. And then they took it with a little time to go in the second quarter, and they haven't given it back since. And both Porters have slowed down their scoring. And that one, he can't get it to go. Michael fighting a foul. <laughs> foul on number 22, Tristan Valley is fourth. So he'll go to the line to shoot two. Looks like. Substitution to be made. As Wrigley checks out for James. And Matthew Porter makes that one. So back to a back to five point game. And that's where it goes. And Zupko gets a rebound. This one's up good behind the back. Wow, and a two. And wow, what a play by the big, the big man. The big man gets it. And a three. No, wrong two. So timeout. Full timeout, looks like it was just a long two, so a four point game when we come back on YSN. 
Mill Creek Metro Parks is launching its first ever co-ed youth NFL flag football league May 14th through June 18th. Registration is now open for 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12 U players. All games will be played Saturdays at the Wick Recreation Area. Sign up now through February 28th to receive $10 off the registration fee. Be part of this surging American youth sport backed by NFL flag football. Call or register today at millcreekmetroparks.org. Stunning, stylish, and skillfully built, bring home the time-honored craftsmanship of Amish-made furniture at Sheely's. Proudly built in Ohio's Amish country, we carry some of the best quality Amish brands to bring you these handcrafted pieces. From different wood species to a variety of hardware options and hand rub finishes, when you buy a piece of Amish furniture from Sheely's, you're buying an heirloom piece to last your family a lifetime. Fighting for it. Costanito gets it. Gonna put up a three. Drains it. And McDonald's back to within one. Wow. And now a timeout called on the court. Full timeout. We'll be back. 60 years ago, Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods began with three siblings, a handset sawmill, and a few local orders. And while business has certainly changed over the years, what has not are our principles of hard work, craftsmanship, and commitment to quality. At Baird Brothers, we're proud to put our name on the products we create, from moldings and doors to flooring and lumber. Thank you for 60 great years. We look forward to 60 more. Baird Brothers, for the place you love. You're looking to your feet. And we're back. Zupko. Can't get that one to go. Wolford. If you heard that thunder, that was Zupko punching the wall. Very upset. I thought he broke his hand. Wow, that. Luckily, it's padded. He just slammed his hand in the wall. Timeout, though. 30 second timeout. We'll be right back. There's just no feeling like when you actually can get somebody in a vehicle that they think is not attainable. I see myself as more of a modern or next generation salesperson. You know, I just enjoy, you know, being there throughout the sale, after the sale. We're going to make sure that everything about that vehicle, you know, from start to finish is the right one for you. I'm Jim Conlon, and I'm ready to go the extra mile for you. You're looking to your future, preparing for your Coca's Pizza, always supporting our community and our local athletes. Stop in on game day or score big. And we are back. Porter to Agler. <laughs> Wolford in a timeout McDonald as they can't get a shot. With 22 seconds to go, they need to get one up and they need it to be a good one. So we'll be back, full time out. We'll be back on YSN. High-res future cast shows steady snow for the next few hours. Still just downright cold. It is bitter out there. Several strong bands of lake effect snow when is kind of a big story today as well. So if you need a more detailed winter forecast on WFMJ.com and the Storm Tracker 21 app. 
You're looking to you. Working with your family can be stressful at times. But because they're family, you know that you're going to get a loving, honest answer, even when things don't make sense to any problem. Dealing with Medicare can be confusing and overwhelming. That's why here at Myers Family Insurance, we do our best. To and we're back. 22 seconds to go. And they get it in, and a foul committed. Oh, wait. What's the call? The call's a foul. A foul on McDonald. One and one, though. They're going to say offensive foul. Foul at number 13. So they try to get it in, and they end up picking up a foul as the ball rolled out of bounds. Looked like it was off the hands of number 13. That's Port Michael Porter. Some confusion by the ref. No one was there to inbound it. So. Offensive foul, so that's why even though now they're in the bonus, there's no one-on-one -on -one being shot. They get it into James. They do got to get over the half court or they're going to be fouled. Foul on Costanito, 14.7 seconds to go. So James, chance to go up by three. They need to make one of these though, or else they're playing a dangerous defensive game for the final 15 seconds. Now, if you're McDonald, if you if they make both of these, you have 14 seconds left. If you can get all the way up the court and perhaps you try to get to the rim and pick up a foul, well, I don't know if you necessarily need to make. They have no timeouts left, though. That's the only problem. They blew up quite a few of them trying to get points on the last couple possessions. So that's tough. So you're going to really need to shoot a three to end this game. And he makes a ball. And Zach James with two clutch pass free throws. And now McDonald's going to be looking for a three. No, they're going to be fouled on the floor. So he's going to go to the line to shoot two. So Costanito. And these are big shots for him. And he makes the first. So a two point game. He misses it. And it's it's gonna be McDonald's ball out of bounds. So, they're down two, 5.9 seconds to go. They're gonna get the final shot of this game. We're gonna zoom in a little. So, Costanito with the inbound. Getting it over the head of the jumping up though. And Matthew, or Michael Porter's fouled. And they're gonna make them beat him at the line because they've struggled there all night. Four point eight seconds to go. Michael Porter at the line to shoot two. And this crowd is loud. And he makes the first. Oh, he misses it, but it's rebounded. Jump ball, jump ball, jump ball. The ball, two point seconds to go. The possession arrow is with the home team though. So they're gonna need to instantly foul. And Mineral Ridge is gonna call a timeout to talk this over.
full timeout. We'll be back. We are Kent State in the Valley. Start and finish one of more than 25 bachelor's or associate degree programs or start one of Kent State's 280 majors. With low tuition, public, and plenty of scholarship opportunities, we will help you maximize your education and minimize student debt. Enjoy the benefits of a smaller campus with all the opportunities of a large university. Save money, stay close to home. Apply today by visiting kent.edu slash trumbull. it gives me a platform to talk about what I love and what I have a true passion for in life and that is sports. The possibilities of And we're back. Oh, and he's just going to break it. And they can't foul him. And he can't be fouled. He's too quick. And just like that, Elias Clark dribbles it out, and he's being celebrated. Oh, what a beautiful scene from Mineral Ranch as they get their second one of the season, and the crowd is nuts. And wow, what a nice ending for this game. For them. And the fans are going on the court. So, team comes. Your teams work hard and give it all they've got. Well, so does ours, because 21 Sports and YSN give you extra effort. Apologies for that. Team comes down to celebrate. We'll watch it. Stay with you guys. So, good win by the Mineral Ridge Rams, getting their second win of the season. Um, they came out here. They started off hot with a three. And they went ice cold for about five minutes. And uh, McDonald built a little bit of a lead. And, and at the end of the second, Mineral Ridge able to fight back in and take the lead. And they were able to hold on to that lead the whole rest of the game. So. Impressive victory for the Rams at home, defending their home court tonight. Going off with a 47-46 lead, a one-point nail-biter all the way till the end. Great matchup, great game for both, from both teams, and a great win for Mineral Ridge. Thank you to everyone who tuned in to watch tonight. Thank you to the fans in the stands and the players on the court. Thank you to our sponsors here at YSN. Special thank you to Mineral Ridge for hosting us and allowing us to do this game tonight. And on the call tonight, I'm Noah Doty saying thank you. And we'll see you guys next time here on YSN. YSN thanks you for watching this presentation of Your Sports Network. For stories, stats, and more, go to ysnlive.com.